If you want a new leash for your new pet, you need to know which is better, a retractable leash or a regular leash. Both types of leashes have advantages and disadvantages. However, a regular leash is the safest choice for most dogs. How so? Let's dive into the video about Retractable Leash vs. The Regular Leash to find out. A retractable leash is essentially a leash that's wound onto a spool and stored inside a large plastic handle. Inside the leash handle is a butt that stops the leash line from extending, locking it at the length of the handler's choice. Retractable leashes typically extend between 10 and 26 feet. The leash cord material can be very thin nylon and string-like or wider nylon webbing. A retractable leash is an excellent tool for use in parks and other public spaces where dogs are not permitted to play off-leash. Retractable leashes have lots of advantages. Flexibility retractable leashes can enable your dog to enjoy much more freedom with minimal supervision. A retractable leash allows your dog to roam up to 26 feet away. Partially sighted pups can enjoy a controlled wander without fear of going too far from their handler and getting lost. You can use a retractable leash in a shorter, locked length in much the same way as a regular leash. Additional features good quality retractable dog leashes often come with integral flashlights or poop back holders, which can be handy. But unfortunately, retractable leashes tend to have more downsides than positives. Not suitable for pullers the dog pulls on the leash and the spooling mechanism extends the leash cord. So, the dog quickly learns that he can gain more freedom and get to where he wants to be by pulling on his leash. Accidents happen your dog could injure another dog or a small child if he charged into them. Having reached the end of his leash, an overexcited pup could easily dash out into a busy street, cause an accident, or collide with a cyclist or pedestrian. Injuries if a thin leash cord gets tangled around your finger as you try to grab your dog, friction burns, lacerations, and even amputation can happen. Dropped leash panic retractable leash handles can't be wrapped around your hand and can easily be tugged from your grasp if your dog takes off. Regular leashes can be made from rope, nylon webbing, or leather of various widths and lengths up to around six feet. The leash has a looped handle on one end and a metal clip on the other for attachment to the dog's harness or collar. Standard leashes come in an array of different colors, weights, and lengths to suit your dog's needs. The main drawback to the standard leash is that it does somewhat limit your dog's freedom. Regular leashes have lots of advantages. Control unlike a retractable leash, a standard leash is short enough to allow you to pull your dog away from unpredictable situations, including strange dogs, loose livestock, and wildlife. And you can also prevent your dog from eating something unpleasant or potentially toxic. Training a shorter leash enables you to train your dog to walk obediently beside you. Safety there's no danger of a regular leash becoming entangled around your dog's neck or limbs. You also will need to worry that your dog will rush off in the park and get his leash wrapped around a tree or another dog walker. Cleanliness unless you have a leather leash, most rope and nylon leashes are washable, so you can get rid of that stinky, doggy odor. But regular leashes have a few drawbacks. Inflexibility probably the worst thing about regular dog leashes is their lack of versatility. If you have a six-foot leash, it will always be exactly that, a six-foot leash. Comparing two strong competitors is not just an easy task. However, we've done a little, but choose yours according to your preferences. This video is just a help over the topic. Hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching till the end.